Dad, I've been thinking. We could all be dead soon, so... Shit, I can't believe I'm saying this. You don't have to die a virgin. Can you call me Nightblade? Are you fucking serious? You still want to have a go? Uh, what the hell? If it's not too much trouble, I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zim programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this. has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but, but unity. Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling Sabre and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Chief. And, and I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look what that left us. So, so what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? G giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You, you don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is to kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe. There's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right.
How do they even get the tank balls through the doors? They can bend the simulation to their whim. They I'm venting, Matt! Let it go! to do with a naughty little boy like you. you. Let him go! 
They have them bad. Hey, I'm, I'm Roddy. Roddy, Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm, I'm the president of the United States. States. Sure. sure. Why, Why not? not? What, well, Pres? We got visitors. That has some style. Someone very important, very important to me. Whatever train is in, I need him snapped snap out of it. He's going crazy. He th thinks we're all out to kill him. That was the truth. I know it will be. He's a crazy man, my microphone. What do you think he's gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen of America, the threat threat is right in front of us. An alien, alien presence has taken over your friends and family. It, it's everyone you know, everyone you see. No, nobody can be trusted. Please least of all. Got it all wrong, Keith. Zinyak's in your head. Got you all confused. Keith, listen to me. The Zinyak guy is bad ass fucking news. You! I, I told you to get away! Get the fuck away from me! You're not, you're not gonna kill me, motherfuckers! Get yes, yes. out of the room! Did it work? No, the brainwashing is too ingrained. I'll have to beat it out of them. If you want to know where your friend is, now's the time to ask. 
Where is Kenzie, Keith? Where did Sinyak put Kenzie? Tell me, Keith! She's... She's... She's in... Keith, I think you got some unresolved issues. You don't know what happened, the kid. Now come on, we've got to save Kinsey. Wish we could call Roddy for help. No one calls Roddy for help. He shows up where he's needed most. Let's go. <laughs> 